Hey everybody, this is... Just wanted to talk to you today. I didn't get on here this morning. Man, I tell you what, days just go by so quick these days. You know, the older we get, the faster time flies by and a lot more to do. Plus, with all the um, ice all over the different states and everything, I had to uh, be on the phone with a lot of my truck drivers to make sure they're safe and on the roads and helping them with a bunch of legal situations due to ice and accidents and everything else. Sorry about that, I hit a lot of cell issues, even on Wi-Fi or just regular cellular issues around here. It's always trying to pick up on one of the Xfinity relays around here, and I always forget to really do concentrate on driving, not on what's going on on my Facebook. That's the reason why I can't reply to a lot of you guys that are sending me messages. Um, all right. What is motivation today? Well, it is Wednesday. I hope each and every one of you have been motivated. I hope you're getting ready and getting everything done today. Today is Wednesday, so it is hump day. It's the middle of the week, and it's time to get up, get out, and get doing something. And each and every one of you should know you matter. Now, I kind of like to bring a little bit of my own life into... Look, Henry, right there. there we go. Okay, sorry about that. I had to turn on my bigger antenna. Hey, Doug, how you doing today, my friend? All right, so here's a little bit about, a little bit personal my life. About five years ago, uh, about six years ago, you know, I dealt with a little of my own PTSD stuff. I dealt with a lot of my own problems, my own stress, my own pressure. And a lot of people know that they're, you know, I'm always going for the 22 that die, but also regular everyday people that commit suicide because they don't think they matter or they're good enough. It's not always about military. However, since I am military, I have a vested interest in making sure that all my brothers and sisters are okay. And if there's something I can ever do to help them, I do. But because of an older situation in my life being cancer and stuff like that, I like to not only help out fellow Marines, but also people that are fighting people with cancer or, you know, they're having issues with different allergies or, you know, different, uh, like everywhere from diabetes or whatnot. And one of the things I always tell everybody is because of all these people, life is just way too short. We need to learn to forgive each other, which we do. And you can go back to any of my other videos or go on my YouTube page and you can see that that's what I talk about all the time. I don't necessarily use a religion per se. I just use basically the old common Marine Corps philosophy, you know, forgive, ask forgiveness and forgive the self. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people in the Marine Corps, well, in the Marine Corps, you know, we got to work with each other all the time. We've got to get along with each other. And it's funny because when we get out, it doesn't matter who we are, where we come from or anything else. You know, we, we might miss the games. We call them something else. But we might miss the games. We may not miss the games. Sorry about that. But we do miss each other, you know, because we do have a strong bond. And every Marine we get around, it's kind of funny. We can just all talk to each other like we're nothing. And um, I had a school friend like that that I thought the world of and still do to this day. And it's funny because today out of nowhere, I finally got a chance to talk to him again. And it made me pretty happy. But it also calmed me down to where I got through my day. It's kind of like I needed to hear from that person. And in a way, just hearing them or just, you know, communicating with them made me know that everything's okay. Even though in my world, everything is okay. At least that's what we always have a tendency to think. Sometimes we become stronger than the situations around us when in actual reality we are basically trying to get by with everything we know how to do using every one of our strengths and trying to you know make our weaknesses in the strengths and sometimes we just need to hear from that one person we just need to know that everything's okay you know i don't think any of us really mean to hurt anybody or you know avoid anybody or you know basically not befriend anybody i think it's just in human nature that we keep moving on and we keep moving forward and we keep pushing on but one of the things we got to understand is we've got to learn to co communicate with each other. We got to learn to talk with each other. We got to learn to actually be kind to people. You know what? I understand that there's people out there, oh, kindness is weak. No, actually, you want to know something? Kindness is not weakness. Walking away from negative people, walking away while being kind, that is the biggest strength you can ever have. Because there's so many negative people out there putting curse words up on Facebook, sitting there telling everybody what they can do. It. You know what? You don't have to get rid of the people. You just have to make sure that you kill them with kindness. And that kindness will always mean that you are important, that you matter, and there's nothing in life that can ever substitute kindness, okay? Sure, you can be strong. I mean, as a parent, think about it. We have to be kind, but you gotta be a strong parent on everything we say, think, or do. 
But just remember this, each and every one of you matters. Each and every one of you makes a difference. When we hear from people we haven't heard from in a long time, when we're down and low, you know, people don't always see it that way. But sometimes people need to hear from you. Sometimes people need to know that they matter and that you care about them. Now I tell everybody that, oh, you tell it. No, I don't tell it to everybody. I tell it to everybody that needs it because I mean it. And if I didn't mean it, I wouldn't say it. I'm not gonna say something I don't mean, never again. Because each and every one of you is important. Each and every one do matter. You know, and if I'm gonna raise my daughter in a world that is better than what I left it, I have to know that each and every one of you knows that you're important and you're just as powerful, just as strong, just as magnificent as the person next to you. I mean, I'm not the greatest person in the world. I never claim to be. In fact, I got more wrongs than almost all of you. I've done more wrong than almost all of you. I ask forgiveness more and I forget half the crap I've done wrong. But I'm hoping that maybe I can get through to somebody and it makes a difference in somebody's life because each and every one of you matters. Anyway, I gotta get in here. I will talk to everybody later. Bye. Oops, I gotta go.